Okay, now it's time to define and publish platform events. So the first step is we want to define the platform events. So in this example, this is a hands-on example. We are going to create a new platform event. It's called Cloud News. And on the publish behavior, we are going to keep the default, which is publish after commit. And then save. And then we are going to create some fields. All right. So let's go ahead, go to your Trailhead Playground. I am already on mine. I'm going to go to set up here. And platform events over here. I'm going to click platform events. And we are going to create the first platform event. New platform event. And we are going to name that cloud news. I'm just going to copy here cloud news. Plural would be the same. Start with vowel. Let's just leave it at that. And publish behavior. You have two choices immediately or after commit. So we are going to choose publish after commit. What's the difference there? Publish after commit is to have the event message published only after a transaction commits successfully. With this option, a subscriber receives the event message after the data is committed. If the transaction fails, the event message isn't published. So that's the after commit immediately explains for itself. It just published immediately, whether it's committed or not committed. And you cannot roll back. With after commit, you can roll, roll back. All right, so we are going to save this. Now we have a new cloud news platform event. Does this look familiar? It looks like a Salesforce custom object, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks like it. Now you can create your fields and your triggers and you can see who is subscribed to this platform event. Now let's create some fields as instructed here. I'm going to make a new text field, which is location. The length is 100. So a new field, let's name it is a text field. The location of the news probably right where the news happens i'm going to save that and then what else do we need to create follow step seven eight and nine to add next two fields so urgent is a checkbox and then news content is text area long so i'm going to make a new one urgent which is a checkbox and urgent save one more is called news content text area long this one next let's make it five visible lines well it doesn't really matter because you you cannot browse the events messages anyways I'm going to save that okay so we have three fields for this platform event called cloud news the location of the news the content of the news is it an urgent news or is not an urgent news pretty straightforward just like creating a custom object and their fields, okay? So, event retention and replay ID system field. Salesforce stores platform events for 24 hours. Remember that. You can retrieve stored events in API Comet D clients, but not in Apex. So you can't retrieve this event messages from apex you can not okay 
you can retrieve all stored events or you can specify the replay id of an event as the baseline for the retrieve portion of events so even though salesforce retains event records temporarily you cannot query them through socal or social so you can't okay similarly you cannot use event records in the user interface or reports list view or search it you can't you have to use the comment d and then use this platform to play with your messages which we will cover at the later videos all right so the ids being replayed is also async meaning it it's not synchronous it's not 99 or 999 and then 1000 1001 1002 it's asynchronous so 999 and then the next one can have 1025 so your processes needs to be aware that it's not in order okay so keep that in mind so the api name suffix it ends with underscore underscore e as is custom object uses underscore underscore c but platform events underscore underscore e Okay. platform events and transactions this is the publish uh, behavior after commit or immediately which we've talked about all right so publish events how can you publish events you can publish events messages using apex so just write an apex code either it's a class or a trigger so first you just instantiate it like you instantiate a new object so cloud news e is the name of the api right and then this is your variable name and then new cloud news e and then you define the value just like you're defining any new record of uh, a custom object right and then you can store the result of this into database dot save result using the event bus dot publish method if it's successful you you will have is success equals true and then you can code whatever you want if there was an error you can code however you want it all right pretty straightforward so this is to publish more than one event on the same call basically you are just using a list right so you are already familiar with lists before so now a list of cloud news e instantiate that and then you just keep adding it here right and then you iterate and loop through the results and you check each one by one same thing so next you can also publish event messages using clicks either a process builder or flow basically the function you want to use it's like you are creating a new record so you will always use a function to create a record like you were creating a record for a custom object or a standard object but instead of a record it's actually creating an event message because you choose the record type as the event message platform which is on this particular case cloud news then you define the value just like usual this is regular right and then that's it you can decide what to do afterwards you can also define or publish a message using the salesforce api this is in case you are developing an app outside of the salesforce platform for example you are de uh, developing using python or php or javascript or any other platform outside of salesforce and you need to publish an event in your salesforce platform how can you do that you use the rest endpoint so services data your version number as objects and then the name the api name of the cloud of the event cloud news underscore underscore e and then you post your request which is the value and you will re receive a response like so right so this is pretty straightforward you can just do so from your uh, workbench like usual 
we've done this a bunch of times so i don't need to do this again so that's it that's it so i'm gonna separate the video for the hands-on challenge on the next video well actually this is pretty straightforward right wow this is really simple let's do it in this video as well so make a new order event platform event like our tesla example before so if an order came we are going to make that order events and then is it immediately or not uh, starts with a vowel option displayed enable it starts with a vowel and then publish after commit description is this let's make sure we do everything as requested and then publish after commit starts with a vowel publish after commit put this as the description and deploy it. and now we are going to make one new text field which is order number type of text the length is 10. Wow, this is no challenge, right? Super simple. It's not even a challenge. What is the challenge, dude? Come on, text. Order number 10. Save. And then the next one is, has the order been shipped? Or has the car been shipped? Has the car been delivered? checkbox and save hash shipped so that is pretty much it i'm going to grab my points 500 where what are we yeah this one has ship order number order events i think it looks good and bada bing bada boom i will see you on the next video where we are going to subscribe to platform events boom hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the salesforce app exchange and do yourself a favor like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom